what's going on pro cutters it is tuesday night up here on the tennessee tiny homestead and uh got a little brush fire going need to do a relight that pile that came off of the hickory that i took down right there so what i'm gonna do is while I still got a little bit of light, but it's a low light situation, but that's gonna be the best time to get out my laser and start marking the layout on the footers so I could start doing block work. Um, hopefully toward the end of this week, maybe. So stick around, I'm gonna get this set up and then I'll bring you back on. So I realize I'm losing daylight. You probably won't see me, but you will see the laser. And so that's what I'm doing. I'm using the laser to mark out my, the edge of my building. Kind of dim once you get way out here, but you can see it once I get down on it, you can see the laser. So that's how I'm setting my layout. Yeah. You can't see much of it here because you lose it when you have these drop offs, then the, uh, the dirt is blocking the laser. What's going on, Pro Cutters? So it's the next day. Um, I got a lot done with the layout last night. It's just kind of all um, tentative right now. Uh, the only I don't have that corner, that corner, or that corner uh, pinned, so I I lack pin in three corners. But other than that. I feel pretty confident in the layout that I've got down. I mean, let's face it, I'm building a house, not a supercar. So we don't need everything uh, down to fractions of an inch to, you know, for everything to be in. As long as we're at least a half inch in spec, we'll be good. So right now I'm pulling the form out of the bulkheads. So I got the first eight incher out and the second eight inch are out and I'm about to pull out the 16 inch so I figured let me go grab the camera set you guys up and uh, show you what's up with that it's a fairly easy process there you go got my t25 bit and my impact drive we pull the screws out that are holding the pins in place and then give them a couple of knocks with the hammer and that'll loosen them up to where you can pull them out of there same with the other side Just loosen it up a little bit slide it out and then give the board a couple of knocks and that pulls right out so now you can see once you have the forms out you're dealing with just bare concrete everywhere so you could start mortaring in your block work and as I said before this lower section will require two rows of block to bring it up to the main grade and then that step over there will need one row of block on it and then from there everything's on grade and you could start laying your walls up for your house 